Hi, this is Sharon. Here's a little sampler for my Burning Academy. Enjoy! In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to burn the nose on a yak or a bison or any animal um, of a bovine nature where you have a very leathery nose area and uh, an area that will also blend into a furry area. I'm going to concentrate mostly on the leathery sections. As you can see, I've outlined, um, very gently outlined and defined these areas. If you'll notice also on the side, I've made a transition from fur to a smoother line of leather. I'm going through, there's some more fur on the bottom. I want to make sure I define that because there's, these are going to be areas of transition. Now on the nostrils, I'm outlining the top part more. Okay. As I switch to a shader, and this is a coal wood shader, a bench shader, I'm starting the shading of the nostrils at the top. The nostrils don't open straight into the, into the animal's skull, but rather go up like a tunnel. So I'm going to start at the very top where it's darkest and drag it down. That way it'll appear that there's a bit of reflected light on the bottom of that nostril. Make sure you keep that shader nice and flat so that this area is very smooth. In fact, the whole nose area is going to need to be smooth since it does have a leathery surface. Continue building up until the value is exactly where I want it. Now I'll begin working out from the nostril area, watching my reference and taking a look at the curvature. Okay, there are areas that indent and then there are areas that come around. Okay, I'm emphasizing the indentation here. As I come around, I will stroke in the direction of the shape of the nostril. That's, this helps to really define what it looks like. Instead of going flat all the way around, I use concentric lines to build up that form. I keep slowly building up. As you can see, little by little, I'm getting darker and darker. Use a reference so you know where the lighter and darker areas are. Burn on the lighter side so you can build up. You'll make less mistakes that way. Again, use those concentric lines as you work around the cylindrical shape of the nose. As it comes up, curve those strokes around. slowly build up the darks. As you continue, and it does take a little while to do this, you'll begin to build up those areas. Make sure in the areas of transition where you go from leathery to furry, there's a bit of overlap. Be overlap areas that have leather and then you'll slowly blend into furry areas. Now this nose is going to have to be much, much darker than it is right now, but always check your reference as to the values that you need to add. And remember, the nostril doesn't go straight into the head. It's not like a rifle barrel. Instead, it'll be darker at the top with a bit of reflected light on the bottom. You'll notice that I speed up to smooth out. If those concentric lines, those directional lines are too prominent, you want to kind of smooth them out. Keep working on it until it has the value you desire. 